if you put this in your car and you crash, you're dead. This yeah. should be absolutely illegal. I'm calling the cops. <laughs> Millions of people get scammed every year by dangerous counterfeit car parts. But can we tell what's real and what's fake? We've got a bunch of car parts and we're gonna try to guess whether they're legit or bootleg. He's Justin, he's Jeremiah, I'm Nolan. Today, let's not get scammed. Big thanks to K&N for sponsoring this video. Listen up car people, it's June 28th, you can get 20% off of K&N air filters at knfilters.com. The same filters that are going in both low and high car. This K&N upgrade is designed for hearse powers and doesn't need to be clean for 75,000 miles. You heard them, it's washable and reusable, saving you up to 250 bucks. K&N products make your vehicle run cleaner, go faster, and drive further, and they're super simple to install as well. What more could you want? So go to knfilters.com slash donuts to get 20% off your air filter from May 31st to June 28th, or just click the link in the description below. Let's start with our first product, racing gloves. Are they Sparco gloves? <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. So these okay. are our Sparco Take a gloves look. right here. First impression. They look legit. They look legit and they, they feel legit. What do you or, feel? What do you think? Uh, well, the size is off. The fingers <laughs> the fingers are a little short. Like, I mean, is that a large? Yeah, this is a size large. <laughs> yeah, that's, so, that's fake. But if you got really big palms with really short fingers, these are great. So these gloves, sure. guys, claim to be fire resistant. Normally, racing gloves will have a special tag in here with an FIA or SFI approval telling you what level of fire protectiveness it offers, actually. We don't have that. No, we just have this tag telling you that it's machine washable. Yeah. Just, this is just adding to my guess here. Legit Sparkos, mm -hmm. the stitching is on the outside of the glove. Mm. Like the joining of the fabric is to the inside. Usually it's on the outside, depending mm. on the brand. I don't know what I'm looking at, and I think they're fake. Yes. Fake, mm -hmm. fake, fake. Counterfeit. The Sparco gloves are counterfeit. Yes. Yeah. These are from Wish.com. Yes. They cost $44, and they do claim to be flame retardant. $44 right, for this. We're burning these later. Dude, <laughs> yeah. for $40. For $40, bucks, that's not that's worth it. steep. So moving on, let's take a look at a racing seat. Oh. So this is a Brid seat. Brid, not Bride, I know it's spelled that way. Because Brid is such a big legacy brand, there are a lot of fakes out there uh, trying to take advantage of that. Guys, what are your impressions here? There are a lot of telltale signs about this one that leads me to believe uh, my answer. I think I'm with you. It's yeah. a little hard to guess because this is obviously a used seat. These strap kind of prop um, holes, they've got Brid logos on them. I feel like that's a detail that a counterfeiter would probably skip. The cover looks nice, the seat cover looks nice. The padding, you should be able to remove this, and it's got, yeah, see, it's got Velcro on there. It's also pretty light. It's the, super the light. Really good. Yeah, That's yeah. the key detail for me is that the weight of the seat mm -hmm. is very light, and yeah. I feel like that'd be hard to replicate if you're using a cheaper manufacturing yeah. process. There are right. guesses. Ready? Three, two, one. Real. real. Question mark? Yeah, this is a real seat. This Max. has got to be. <laughs> the grid seat is real. Yeah. All right. Another yeah. giveaway is the Japanese tag of origin. Yeah, mm -hmm. obviously. Yeah, yeah that, that is this tag. Dead which... giveaway. Next up on our list, steering wheel. So, ooh, I'll take the first. Okay. So, that is a Nardi wheel, or it says it's a Nardi wheel at least. Yeah. It says made, made in Italy. Made in Italy, but back. you know what? It's real easy to stamp stuff. It is. All right, I already have a couple of first impressions. All okay, right. first thing, it looks asymmetric and it's a circle which should be symmetric but it doesn't look like it's great also this is flexing already in my hand and the leather itself like these are really big stitches yeah that's the first thing i noticed that big doesn't stitches make a lot of sense to me some like leftover glue <sighs> smells weird doesn't it feel doesn't, chintzy it feels so feel? cheap uh oh see see <laughs> that's like yeah as soon as you touch it you're like huh What's wrong with this thing? Let's try and break it. <laughs> yeah, that's off. fake. That's fake. For fake, real. For fake, sure. fake, for sure. fake, 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 fake. All right, guys, answers in three, two, one. Fake. fake. The Nardi steering wheel is legit. No what? way, Max. Straight from Jimmy's collection. No way. That's trash. That doesn't mean anything. Right. Jimmy got burned. Jimmy got burned, dude. Jimmy. Hey, what's up, dude? We just looked at the Nardi wheel. Where'd you get that? Uh, I got it from. Is that a legit website? Yeah, it's legit. 
because we had some quality control issues about your steering wheel. Those smell like sneakers. All right, we just called Jimmy to tell him that it <laughs> was fake because we didn't believe it. it. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna push down. Oh like, yeah, this is fake. <laughs> Everything's fake that Max got us. All right. Well, that was embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> All um, three of us are idiots. Yeah. All right. So next up, we got another feel point for driver pleasure. I'm talking <laughs> shift knob, baby. Feels Ooh. nice, right? It is a it Momo, says a Momo, Italy, and it another has... Italian product, supposedly. I, I held it. The knob feels pretty good. Mm -hmm. Feels pretty hefty. Oh, okay. The, the prices on shift knobs are crazy. Like, I think I had a Cobb shift knob, and I got it out of a pile of super parts from some dude in a warehouse, mm -hmm. but my buddy was just like drooling over it. And yeah. It was 100 bucks on eBay, mm -hmm. and I like, gave it to him for a part. Yeah, the shifter and high car. Or the, that I don't know, I think shift knobs are like an important purchase if, if you want to like change it's, the feel it's, of it's your feel, car. It's like 115 bucks for like a little piece of like, it was machined and everything, it was really nice. Just Back the branding, to the, to the knob at hand. Well, I think I know what I'm gonna guess. Yeah, I do too. Set your guesses in three, two, one. Fake. Fake. Oh, the bad. Momo shift knob is counterfeit. Yeah. The yeah. counterfeit Momo shift knob costs $13 on wish.com. 13 yeah. bucks? That's some high profit on that thing. And the only way someone would know if they know the whole Momo collection. Like, oh, that's not Momo. They never sold one. Yeah, they, they the logo's too stuff. small. What do you guys okay, think about this real. other Momo that I bought? It says Momo. <laughs> this is not a Momo ship knob, is it? Look at that. <laughs> this also counterfeit. Kind of okay. Oh my God, it lights up. <laughs> <laughs> is it heavy? Oh no, this is a piece of junk. So someone in the Donut Underground is actually gonna win this shift knob right here. Lucky, lucky. Uh, lucky, lucky. <laughs> we'll also sign it and give you 50 bucks for your suffering. Um, if you'd like to join the Underground, click that join button down there. Oh, no. oh don't, oh, don't drop it. All right, moving on. This next product is perhaps the most important decision you'll make in a race car, racing harnesses. Now, I do find fake racing harnesses, counterfeit racing harnesses, to be especially egregious. A point. It's point. pretty bad that, that this that people get away with selling this stuff. Yeah, that's really sketch. Many fake harnesses out there will cheap out, not just on the strap material, but perhaps more importantly, the fastening material that keeps the seat belt in your car. Gotcha. If it's a cheaper metal, in the event of a crash, the impact could break that metal and render the belt useless. Oh, that's Because it's not keeping you in anymore. So Max, let me get that harness. We actually have a four point safety harness from Sparko. Sparko. That could okay. It feels pretty good. This buckle yeah. feels solid and really good, but this one feels kind of dainty. It doesn't seem like very much metal. I don't know, it feels pretty good. This metal's pretty I strong. I think that's probably fine, actually. Made in the USA. Oh, Made in the USA. Made in the USA. Hmm. Here's the thing about tags. Print whatever you want on it. That's why I still think Jimmy's steering wheel's fake. Yeah. I could stamp made in Italy on anything. Heck, I'm made in Italy. What? I was conceived there. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't see that coming? <laughs> you guys have your answers I on uh, the- I got it. Three, two, one. Real. Fake. Who said what? I said real. I said real. I said fake. Fake, baby. The Sparco racing harness is counterfeit. Oh, very convincing. I'm on fire today! I wanted to say fake, but I just don't have enough experience. To neither, know. neither do I, but here's a here's a couple of things, okay? One, the stitching of this signage is oh, whack as I, Look at that. And then this thing right here is just really kind of chintzy looking. It's, and the buckle itself. The buckle look. itself should have been a dead giveaway. Literally on the latch, you can see where they painted over damage to the metal. I would have been like fake immediately if I had actually looked at that. <laughs> yes, it's too late, Jerry. <laughs> they even they in Captain <laughs> Hindsight over here. Wow, I'm really embarrassed by that. It's okay, Nolan. We all make mistakes. I have shamed my family. I'm not qualified to host this show. Is Sparkle, <laughs> is, is Sparkle even a U.S. company? No. It says made in USA. Damn it! Oh yeah, see, they're made in Italy, like me. <laughs> so here's the thing. If you were to use this seatbelt, you're on a racetrack, you're ripping around, you know, you're shifting through the gears, you make a little mistake, you're dead. Your family's all all alone. They don't have a father. <laughs> they don't have a father to take care of your, your baby and your wife. <laughs> don't buy one of these. Get this hunk of shit out of here. No one's like legit upset with himself. <laughs> all right, for our next product, guys, brakes. That's right, fake brakes have become a pretty big problem as of late. And 
pose quite a big danger. Not so good. that sounds quite deadly. So let's look at some brakes right now and see if we can tell if they're real or not. This claims to be a Willwood brake rotor. Oh, okay. claims to be. Yeah, I got Willwoods on the old catfish. And good for you, Jerry. <laughs> I mean, they look pretty good. They have an arrow indicating the, the rotation. An, right, they have nice veins. They have the cleaning edge. Normally, isn't there safety wire going between these bolts right here? There are holes for you to safety wire it. Okay, I well, feel like if there was a counterfeit thing, that yeah, would be something to skimp that. on. It's like when you buy fake Jordans and like, the Jordan logo has like a big fat ass. <laughs> and you're just like, big juicy double, Jerry. Yeah. And you're just like, oh, that's 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 the clear sign that these are fake. How that's, heavy is it? It's pretty heavy. Oh. Right, I got too strong. <laughs> like, yeah, it's pretty light. I'm <laughs> gonna say that this is real. I, I'm with you. I, if this is a if this is a counterfeit one, yeah, yeah, that's a good counterfeit. That's a good <laughs> I think this is a real rotor. Agree, real. I also believe this to be legit. The alleged Willwood rotor is real. Yes. Yeah. It came off of my car. That's right. Okay. <laughs> Are people making counterfeits of these? Fake yeah. Brembos, fake Willwoods. Yeah. Don't Wrong. buy fake brakes, y'all. If it's a little too good of a price to be true, it probably is. It's right. like Jordans with the butt. How about a little bit of style? Oh, okay. What's one of the first mods that you guys have made to your car? Uh, wheels and tires. Wheels and tires. Oh. So we have one of the most popular wheels, the one and only NK RPF1. All right, it's R pretty heavy. Oh my oh, gosh. Jeez. Oh, oh, look at the wheel weights. Yeah. Okay, there's a ton of weights on it. Yeah. So usually a high quality wheel is balanced better mm -hmm. from the factory. Mm -hmm. So you don't need a ton of weights yeah. to get it balanced. Yep. Other thing is these cheap ass tires. Cheap ass. If you got a cheap tire, it probably means you bought cheap wheels. I've got some NT03s on my Mustang. Those wheels have an NK logo on the rim. These do not. Okay, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> All right. It's fake. The RPF ones are fake. Yeah. Like, there's so, no NK logo on NK here. NK anywhere. All right, so we have a fake set of RPF ones. We also have a real set of RPF ones. And if you want to see us put them head to head in a battle of torture and resistance, let us know down in the comments. We really want to make that video. Justin wants to throw it off a roof. <laughs> All right, guys, the last item of our list here, a Ferrari badge. Ferrari oh, badge? That's right. The horse looks really good. It does. It does mm -hmm. a good looking horse. But I don't remember a Ferrari having a the horse tail that's about the butt. I was about to say that. Is the Italian flag green, white, red? <laughs> well, if you turn it sideways, that's the Italian flag right there. Oh, okay, yeah, that's the, yeah, I do that. Yeah. It's got some good heft to it. It's pretty hefty. It doesn't feel cheap. One, but there's a hole. Yeah, I think that's just because you'd line it up on the hood. Is that adhesive? Yeah, it's adhesive, but they didn't put it on square. It's not square. All right, I got, but I feel like this is- I feel is, like that's legit though. Can I mean, you tell us how much you paid for this and where you bought it? <laughs> of course not. <laughs> See, this is my worry with this one, okay? Okay, now Max has got it to her head. <laughs> and this of course is the last one, because this is a great one. Dude, this looks really good. Right. It looks really good on the front. The back throws the you. The back is weird. Okay, I, do you have your guess? Yes. Yeah. Do you have a guess? Yeah. All okay, right. hold on, hold on. Let me say one. <laughs> you guys all ready? Yes. Three, two, one. Fail. <laughs> the Ferrari badge is real. Yeah! <laughs> you lost. <laughs> Ah! Uh, it's tied, actually. You guys want to guess how much I paid for it? 125 500 $300. I paid $250 for this. Yeah. What? Yeah, sorry. So right. the, uh, the final tally, Justin, five points. Jeremiah, six points. Mm -hmm. Nolan, six points. Yay! What uh, did we learn today, fellas? Uh, Anybody can be fooled. Yeah. <laughs> Even me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> one if I just... <laughs> got that seatbelt. Yeah, anyway. I think what we learned today, guys, is that if you're gonna buy some parts, buy it through a reputable dealer, mm -hmm. a reputable retailer, uh, and if a price is too good to be true, it probably is. Also, never, ever buy safety equipment off of Wish.com. Guess what? Tool shirt's back in stock. Comes in two colors. That way, you never get mixed up on which tool is which again. Get yours today at donutmedia.com. We make videos like this all the time, so if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. I want to thank Jerry and Justin. 
or myself for being on this video. Again, for the Donut Underground, if you wanna get access to our Discord channel and access to other cool things like early merch drops, hit the join button down below, learn more about the Donut Underground, join up. That was really fun. Be kind, see you next time.